वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस सिमिलैरिटी एज साइज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी नो दैट टू फिगर्स आर कॉल्ड सिमिलर इफ दे हैव सेम शेप But the figures need not have same size. Now, in case of similarity. as size transformation the given figure is enlarged or reduced by scale factor k such that the resulting figure is similar to the given figure so if a given figure is enlarged by a scale factor k then the resulting figure which would be similar to the given figure would have its sides k times as long as the sides of the given figure and same would be the case when the given figure is reduced by a scale factor k in that case also the resulting figure would have sides k times as small as the sides of the given figure the scale is the scale factor by which the given figure is enlarged or reduced in case if the scale factor k is greater than 1 then in that case the size transformation is enlargement and in case if the scale factor is less than 1 Now in that case, the size transformation is reduction, and if the scale factor k is equal to one, the size transformation is. identity transformation the size transformation basically includes the scale factor and the center of enlargement or reduction now the center of enlargement is the point in the plane about which all points of a given figure are expanded or contracted let us now consider the size transformation of a triangle if we have this triangle pqr 
Now we need to transform the size of this triangle PQR given the scale factor as 1 upon 2. Now let triangle P dash Q dash R dash be the image of triangle PQR. Let this point O be the center of enlargement. Now we have to draw the image of triangle PQR. That is we have to draw triangle P dash Q dash R dash under transformation about the center of enlargement O with the scale factor given as 1 upon 2. Now as the scale factor is 1 upon 2, so this means OP dash where P dash is the image of the point P upon OP would be equal to the scale factor that is 1 upon 2. In the same way, OQ dash upon OQ would be equal to 1 upon 2 and OR dash upon OR would be equal to 1 upon 2. And from here we have OP dash would be equal to 1 upon 2 into OP. OQ dash would be equal to 1 upon 2 into OQ. OR dash would be equal to 1 upon 2 into OR. Now, we have the center of enlargement O. We have the points P, Q and R. Now we have to locate the points P dash, Q dash and R dash. Now we have extended OP to OX, OQ to OY and OR to OZ. Now, since we have that OP dash is half of OP, so we will locate the point in the middle of OP so as to get the point P dash. So this is the point P dash which is the image of the point P under enlargement about the point O with the scale factor as 1 upon 2. In the same way as we have that OQ dash is equal to half of OQ. So we will locate the point Q dash on OQ such that this point Q dash is in the midpoint of OQ. This point is Q dash which is the image of the point Q. To locate the point R dash, we will find the midpoint of OR. So this is the point R dash which is the image of the point R. Now we join P dash Q dash Q dash R dash and R dash P dash. So does we obtain the triangle P dash Q dash R dash which is the image of triangle PQR under enlargement about the point O with scale factor as 1 upon 2. And each side of triangle P dash Q dash R dash would be half of the corresponding sides of triangle P Q R. That is P dash Q dash upon P Q is equal to Q dash R dash upon Q R is equal to R dash P dash upon R T is equal to half. So this is the case when the scale factor is less than 1. In the same way, we can do the size transformations for different figures when the scale factors are greater than 1 or equal to 1 also. If we have the scale factor as k, then there are certain points to be noted. That is, first we have the distance 
between two image points is k times the distance between the three image points that is the original points given also the area of the image is k square times the area of the pre image in the same way we have that the volume of the image is k cube times the volume of the pre image next we discuss the scale maths the scale of a map is defined as the ratio of a distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the ground now suppose that a map or say a model of a figure is drawn to the scale 1 is to p now as we know that the scale is the sign of the ratio of the distance on the map to the corresponding distance on the ground so this means that one unit denotes the distance on the map and p units denotes the distance on the ground and in this case the scale factor which would be denoted by k would be equal to 1 upon p then the length of the map so drawn or you can say length of the model so drawn would be k times the length of the actual figure that we have also the area of the map or the model would be k square times the area of the actual figure in the same way we can say that the volume of the map so drawn would be k cube times the volume of the actual figure consider an example in which a model of a house is constructed using a scale of 1 is to 50 length of the boundary wall of the house is 
given as 25 meters. Now here we have the scale factor k is equal to 1 upon 50. So now the length of the model would be k times the length of the boundary wall of the house. So, this would be equal to 1 upon 2 meters or you can say 0 0.5 meters would be the length of the model. So, this is how we can find the length, the area and the volume of the model if we are given the scale and the original length area the volume of the figure. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of similarity as size transformation and scale maps.